Yo, 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 hip hop heist. Joe Budden says Drake would smoke Childish Gambino and not just in a rap battle. Shout out Bernadette Gia Camazo for the article. Joe Budden has become more known for his opinions on hip hop than his actual music. And now he's weighed in on the brewing rivalry between Drake and Childish Gambino. Let's pack this real quick. Man. This is some GMO with the, uh, damn, was it Slappers, I think? GMO with the Slappers with a little bit of Fronto. You feel me? My bad, I just twitched right there, kind of. That's how you know the weed's good is when you're twitching. It shit got you twitching and shit. Yeah, I put a little bit of the fronto on top. Just to like top it off. You feel me, Paul? That's how you get it started. So it says, check it out. It says, the former Slaughterhouse MC took to his opponent. There's the word of the day. Eponymous. I can't even. I'm not even going to. Let me. Let's look it up. That is the word of the day. I'm going to put this link to the definition in the um, description of this video. So this is the word of the day. Eponymous. Eponymous. It's an adjective. Um, giving their name or giving their name to something. The eponymous hero of the novel. Named after a particular person. Roseanne's eponymous hit TV series. Okay, so let's apply it to this um, statement. The former Slaughterhouse MC took to his eponymous podcast to share his thoughts. Oh, okay. He's just giving name to his podcast. Where he said he'd rather see the two multi- hyphenates face off as actors and comedians rather than as lyrical opponents despite donald glover's impressive credentials in front of the camera but and still tip drizzy to come out on top in a content battle arguing he's not one to be trifled with in terms of talent so button says if those two have a parody off now i'm in if they have a skit off because they both are talented in that regard he said, before declaring, Drake will smoke that guy's boots. Drake will smoke that guy's fucking muffin. Smoking a muffin? I don't know. But let's get to it. Watch when he hosted the ESPYs. Watch his appearance on SNL. Watch his appearance on the Lil Dicky. Uh, the Chris Brown video. Okay, so let's, let's, let's discuss. It's time to talk about it. I mean, he's saying that, like, because obviously we know Drake and Childish Gambino are both uh, in the in the Hollywood, right? The Hollywood, the acting part, and then the, the, the rapping part, the music part. Um, Joe Budden's just saying he'll do he'll beat him at everything. Um, but hold on he also claimed that Childish Gambino poked the bear when he revealed that this is America originally started out as a Drake diss song as a joke I had the idea three years before the Redbone hit maker told GQ in April I told Hiro Mirai the idea and he's like I really want to do that the idea for the song started as a joke. To be completely honest, this is America. That was all we had. That was the line. It started as a Drake disc, to be honest. As a funny... As like a funny way of doing it. But then I was like, this shit sound kind of hard though. So I was like, let me play with it. Drake seemed to respond to Childish Gambino's confession during the opening night of his and 21 Savage's it's all a blur tour in Chicago earlier this month. While Drizzy performed his 2011 hit headlines, 
news headlines began running on a digital ticker through the side of the United Center stage. One of the headlines threw shade at Gambino's 2018 anthem. It said the overrated and overawarded hit song, This Is America, was originally a Drake diss record, the ticker read at one point. This Is America won four awards at the 2019 Grammys, including Record of the Year. Damn, so he had that shit playing on the, uh, during the concert. That's pretty funny. You know, Drake's got a uh, good personality as far as like when it comes to the jokes, man. Because Drake, Drake, he comes from the acting world, bro. And it seems like I've never met Drake personally. Um, you know, um, he was going to bring me out to the show. All right. Anyway, I'm just, I'm saying. That was a joke. But anyway, it was like, I'm too burnt to even fucking say a joke. Like, let's be real. I just hit that GMO with the slapper Girl Scout cookie weed. And now I'm trying to joke with y'all. That's crazy. I need to stop this right now. I need to throw this fucking video away. But we're not going to do that. Because I'm, st I'm uh, figuring this out right now. Echoing Drake. Okay. What was I getting at? See, I'm super lit. Man. Let's see if I can get back to it. Oh, yeah, so he was playing that shit. This is America was originally a Drake rec, uh, disc record. He was playing that while the concert's going. Then um, it looked like Joe Budden also said that Drake will just overall watch this guy. I don't know. I got to get out of here. Let me know in the comments who you got in a Drake versus... Childish Gambino, you know, I guess versus battle. I don't know, acting battle, skit off. Who knows, man? But who you got overall? Actually, they could do all three and then take the total scores out of all three and then motherfucking kind of like an Olympics type shit. And that's the weed. And that's what I'm going to leave you guys off at. Peace out, man. Uh, be happy. You know, everything's satire in life. You know, be happy. Take take your family serious. Everything else, man, it ain't it ain't worth it. And your family could be your closest friends. Could be your far away friends. You feel me? That's it. See you got deep right there too. That was the weed. Later, y'all.